applesauce. Yeah. So the oats, uh, and that's Ralston Foods. A lot of times they don't tell us where it's coming from. Peas, dice. Inside a massive warehouse on Des Moines' north side, Food Bank of Iowa CEO Michelle Book and the staff of employees and volunteers have been working in overdrive for months. COVID changed all of our lives dramatically in mid-March of this past year. We have seen the need for food insecurity grow and grow and grow. Today, Feeding America and McKinsey Consulting, they're telling us food insecurity is double, double what it was just a few short months ago. And on top of that, a slowing economy and a natural disaster. The needs for the services of the Food Bank of Iowa have never been greater. The derecho came through a few weeks ago, knocking out electricity, air conditioning, refrigeration and the internet for many people, many people who are already struggling to make ends meet. It's been a tough spring and summer for central Iowans. And we're really grateful to have the support, the ongoing partnership with Polk County. Well, the Food Bank of Iowa is out doing the work every single day in our community to feed hungry people. That is their mission. Polk County Supervisor Matt McCoy, along with the rest of the board, are growing increasingly concerned. The pandemic has left many unemployed, and federal relief doesn't appear likely anytime soon. And I, I think it's really important to understand that, uh, that what we experienced in, in the first few months of COVID, we had a lot of help with the federal government. People had increases in their uh, unemployment uh, benefits as well as uh, other assistance that was provided through uh, PPE to uh, sm or PPP through uh, small businesses. And we've lost that uh, at this point, and it doesn't appear that we'll have that back through the election. So it's more important than ever right now to have partners uh, like the Food Bank of Iowa who have this infrastructure to feed a hungry uh, state and a hungry community. We're bracing for what's to come this fall and winter. And as we come into the holiday season, a time where so many of us are celebrating with our families, we're planning our holiday meals, we're thoughtfully considering gifts that we'll give to our loved ones. So many families, so many more families this year than last year are struggling to make ends meet. They're struggling just to put food on the table. For this reason, McCoy says services like the Food Bank of Iowa are the largest priority for the county. As we, as we analyze what our priorities need to be, we understand as a Board of Supervisors that our priorities have to be helping people f like the Food Bank of Iowa fulfill their mission in our community because now more than ever, people's basic needs are being unmet and, and it's only through organizations like this that we're able to, we're able to impact that. Polk County has been a blessing for this community. We count on Polk County to help us procure food, put fuel in our trucks, keep the lights on. Polk County helps us feed food insecure Iowans right here, right here within our community.